Hello everybody, Ed0626 here, and I hope you're all having a great day today. Before I start the video, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and put, all, put on all notifications if you'd like to see more videos from your boy. I got a lot of stuff planned in the coming weeks, coming months, and I hope you all stick around for that. But you're never going to know if you, don't turn, if you don't subscribe and you never turn the notifications on. Also, do me a favor, check out my podcast and all my social media links down in the description below. I usually say that at the end of the video, but because a lot of you, uh, a lot of you, uh, usually watch, I'd say about the first half of my videos, depending on the topic, uh, do yourself a favor, check me out in the description and follow me on all of the stuff there. And last but not least, check out my buddy Grenade, who is also in this gameplay with me, which this gameplay is actually quite fucking old, because it's still Battlefield 1 and I don't play that as much anymore. Anyway, Battlefield's Last Chance. That's the title of today's video. And I have, and I've made this sort of similar commentary in the past, but at the same time, I feel like I've never actually flushed it out to an actual video on my actual feelings on the topic. And it's very simple. Battlefield 6, or whatever this next Battlefield game is going to be, or what it's going to be called, I don't know. It needs to deliver. It needs to deliver something that is going to give the fan base a great gaming experience. I would say, wholeheartedly, as much as I love Battlefield 1, Battlefield 1 was a very polarizing change for the overall community, especially the hardcore fans. Having come from Battlefield 4 going straight, which is modern, going straight into World War One. well, well, that'll fuck anybody up, more or less. That'll be like, what the hell is this, dude? Like, half these guns didn't even exist at the time of, of, the, of the actual war itself, or they were in the prototype, or the testing stages, or whatever. I mean, let's just say, a lot of them never actually saw combat, or mass combat. We have that. Then, of course, a lot of people were not a fan of certain mechanics involving Battlefield 1. Then we move on to Battlefield 5, and the godforsaken marketing tactics they had there. And how polarizing they were for that game. That, a lot of people would say, nearly killed the franchise. And, of course, a lot of the decisions they made regarding, you know, things like Firestorm and a lot of other aspects within the game, a lot of issues that still plague the game, for lack of better terms. You know, whether it's PC and anti-cheat, whether it's, you know, visibility, stuff like that. You know, overall, Battlefield 5 is really not one of the most fun games I've ever played in terms of the Battlefield franchise. I would rather, as much as I don't play Battlefield 1 or 4 anymore, I would choose 4 or 1 in a heartbeat over Battlefield 5 if I had to make a choice with a gun to the back of my head. Now, Battlefield 6 needs to deliver, or whatever this next Battlefield game is going to be called. Whatever the fuck it's going to be, it needs to deliver. I've been seeing a lot of talk about certain things in this, in this upcoming game that make me excited, and a lot of things that make me incredibly worried. One of the biggest things I've been reading is... Battle Royale and how that has been rumored to be big for this game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm over the whole Battle Royale craze. I've been over it since well into Fortnite's like fourth or fifth season. And then the whole thing with Blackout. And then even with the whole Call of Duty when, when they continued it with Warzone. And then all these other Battle Royales I've tried, like Apex and stuff like that. And whether it, I suck at Battle Royales is beside the point. I don't find them fun. I find them to be repetitive and boring. And I just do not enjoy them from a fundamental fun factor level. And the fact that I'm reading more and more that this is becoming a thing is making me worried. I feel as though if Firestorm was never involved with Battlefield 5, I think Battlefield 5 would have been a much better game overall. I think that they need to steer away from Battle Royales. They need to make sure the core multiplayer experience matters because that's where Battlefield is is to people. Like Battlefield Battlefield is multiplayer based. Battlefield is large scale gameplay based. 
large-scale warfare with vehicles and infantry and, you know, artillery pieces that are on the map. You know, special weapons placed throughout the map. It's a sandbox. That's what it's supposed to be. It's a sandbox-style military game. And I keep seeing this shit that Battlefield is going to put out this massive battle royale, which I don't want to see in, in a game that has nothing to do with this but that has nothing to do with the sandbox aspect of battlefield to me if this game fails because of any factors that i'm talking about whether the mechanics suck the maps suck you know the game's unfinished at launch which will automatically put it in the grave for a lot of people you know if this game sucks at launch there's no saving battlefield I think at that point, Battlefield's going to be dead as a franchise as far as mainstream appeal goes. I really do feel that way. There needs to be some sort... Uh, there, there just needs to be a good game produced at launch. And a lot of people are saying with DICE's track record, you know, it took a couple of months, if not a year or so, to finish games like Battlefield 3 and 4, which are now one of the mo some of the most beloved games in the franchise. Who's to say that it won't happen again with this next Battlefield game, you know? I mean, Battlefield 1 had a pretty solid launch. Battlefield 5 had an awful launch. Who's to say we're not due for another terrible launch if we're going by history? I don't know. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous, and I talk about this stuff today in hopes that maybe we can spark a discussion on what Battlefield needs as an overall game. A lot of people online I see you have their own opinions. People that have nothing to do with the game anymore are putting their two cents in as if they're actually, they think they're still actually part of the community in some way, shape, and form. I, I won't name names, but still, it's, it's, I, all I want at the end of the day is a good game. That's really all I want. I just want this franchise to succeed because I think this could be the game that's either puts Battlefield on the map or just absolutely kills it. No in between. See you guys on the next one.